Right, well, I'm going to be briefly discussing the Duke of Edinburgh International Award and how it relates to the Year 9 program. I'm working up the script, so um, I'll do my best to just talk without it, but I'll need to refer to it. So, your child is all too soon going to launch out into a workspace, into a world that will seriously challenge their ability to survive and to thrive in a rapidly changing world. Yeah, they're going to need a deep core of knowledge to, to draw from, and they're going to need a set of specific hard skills that are work specific, but they're going to need a whole range of what we would call soft skills. And these are highly valued, and they call them soft and I'm not sure why, but skills such as they're gonna need excellent communication skills, resilience, real grit to survive. They're gonna need flexibility to deal with change. They're gonna need, going to need a highly tuned social awareness of what to do under what conditions, and then things change quickly. They're going to need highly developed skills of organisation, to be able to work as a member of a team and to take on leadership roles when that's expected of you. And they're going to need analytical skills, etc., etc. These are important skills and they're transferable from occupation to occupation and from career to career and in the home space too. And the Learning for Life program that we have in Year 9 is designed to enhance many of these soft skills, but we offer another excellent opportunity for students to develop these skills. And that is with the Duke of Edinburgh's International Award. Now the Duke of Edinburgh International Award is the world's leading youth achievement program. And it's highly regarded by universities, by schools, and by employers. If you've got one of these in your CV, it's valuable. The Youth Development Award empowers young people to explore their full potential, regardless of circumstances, background, or location. The award's open to young people from 14 to 25 years of age. And they're going to take part in activities and these activities will allow them to do four things one they're going to develop their social well-being and their physical well-being they will need to do some recreational stuff some um, sport activity or something that will develop their physical well-being they will need to learn a new skill and develop that new skill they will volunteer into their community and become a member of a it helps to build that service mentality that's so critical and they'll be do a, a team of adventure in a new environment. Go camping, go canoeing, a wilderness experience for them. And they organise it, they arrange it. Now the award has three levels. There's a bronze, silver, and a gold. Typically sequential, you can start at silver, but they're age dependent. And typically you would do the bronze in year nine, the silver in year 10, and the gold in year 11 and 12, while we can work with you. We can't do the work for them, but we're here to mentor and to facilitate it and to give them a, a good hand up. So if you're interested in this for your child and give them the opportunity for that extra skill set, build those soft skills, speak to me, Neil McAndrew. Um, my email address will be attached. And we've also put a link to the excellent Duke of Edinburgh International Award video that'll explain it in greater detail. Thank you, I challenge you and I encourage you to get your young person involved in this excellent program.